Hey guys, my name is Brian and today I'm going to show you how to take this hand pump aerator here and combine it with this electrical bicycle pump to mimic that of a foam cannon. Now if you're a condo dweller such as myself with no access to water and no access to electrical pressure washer system, I thought this was the best, best way to wash my car on my local coin up without having access to those two things. Now this entire setup costs about $100 Canadian, what $40 for this hand pump here, $50 for this electrical bicycle pump and about $5 for these Bolton valve stems here that I picked up at my local Princess Auto store. Now with these three products, you'll be able to build your portable foam cannon here. And the idea behind it is that instead of pressurizing this um, using your hand or this particular pump, why not pressurize it with this bicycle pump? So I'm really excited to get this build going, so let's get to it. So we're going to need an electrical drill, some drill bits, and a wrench to basically first drill a hole into the side of this bottle here where we're going to install this bolt-in valve stem using the wrench. Once we got that done, we're going to be able to affix this pump right into there and to help pressurize this bottle. So just one thing to note, uh, when drilling the hole through this container here, I found that the plastic is really thick. So first we're going to start off with some smaller drill bits, working our way up to the size of this, which I think is going to be a almost quarter inch here that we need. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is mark off where we're going to drill the hole. Now before we do that, you know, a good idea would be to line up this electrical air pump here with the handle of the aerator because sometime down the line I'm going to be able to fix this onto the handle. And this is sort of a good way to measure where I think this hole needs to land as this nozzle here is going to have to attach onto this valve stem here. So to do that, you know, I'm kind of eyeballing here. I'm thinking about an inch down, and this head here has some flex. So I'm going to mark it right about there and, uh, and drill the hole. So I actually started off with a half inch hole, but that wasn't large enough. So I had to move up to a 3 8 drill bit there. And then even after that, it was still a tight fit. So what I did was basically bore it a little bit more with a file uh, that I had laying around. And now I'm going to basically insert this into the bottle and clamp it down. Okay, so we bolted on the valve stem seal here onto the side of the container. And just to note, you could still use this as a regular hand pump aerator um, if you chose not to use this electrical pump for whatever reason, you know, it died or the battery needs recharging. And all that's left to do now is basically attach this end of the nozzle here onto the aerator um, uh, with the valve stem. So let's get that done. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, you know, what pressure should we set this electrical bicycle pump to? What I think should be set to initially, or what worked for me, was about 3 bar. And this pump basically has an automated feature in it that once this container is pressurized to 3 bar, it automatically shuts off. And as we start releasing the product onto the car itself, this pump will come on automatically to repressurize this container to hopefully 3 bar. Okay, one last thing. I just sort of ghetto rig this to the handle using some zip ties here. I've got one lassoed around the handle and another black one here lassoed around the actual pump. And you can see here, I don't know if you can tell, I've got two of them interconnected there to hold this pump in place. So the idea is basically just hold it with one hand here and have this continuously run throughout the entire car. So let's go outside and do this. Pretty good, no? 